Hello, hello. <coughs> Just be interesting to see who's around tonight because in <coughs> I live in I'm Cheryl Elgy from Kerrang in northern Victoria. Um, Australia. So and we're in the middle of the school holidays at the moment, so it'd be interesting to see how many I know a few of my ladies are away, so be interesting to see how many viewers we get tonight. Oh, hi, Judy. <clears throat> so I'm going to be using just this, uh, I don't know what you'd call that, just a splashy stamp from the Hydrangea set. I'm just going to be using a few greetings from these two sets, the Celebrate Sunflowers and the Ride the Range. And I've also used just the windmill. It's a bit of nostalgia for me. We had a windmill on our farm growing up, like many of us did, and the barbed wire sort of got me in for that set too. Just um, a little bit of nostalgia, and I've used the I've used the chook shed as I'm not sure whether it looks like a house or it can look like whatever you want it to look like. So, and my first my sample that. Um, I'd already done. I looked at that today and thought, hmm, how did I do that? Oh, I know what I've forgotten, a bit of paper towel. I always like to have a bit of paper towel under me. I always forget something. <clears throat> That's my paper towel, which I don't have just handy now. I'm going to be using some shimmery, um, shimmery cardstock, which is, it's like a watercolour. It shimmers and it can um, hold some water. So I actually couldn't remember how I did this when I did it about a week ago. So I've done I've done another sample in case my one tonight didn't dry. So what I'm going to do, I don't want to spray it all over the place. I'm just going to wet. Probably you can't see what I'm doing there, but I've just wet both sides of the cardstock. When you do that. It doesn't bow as much as if it would if you didn't do that. So then I'm just going to create a scene. I'm going to do it differently to what my sample was, just because I can. Again, I'm going to just mist that lightly. And my paper's wet. Now, I'm not going to press it down too hard. I'm just going to kind of paint with it, if that makes sense. And this one will look different to my other sample as well. If I've got enough. And you can move it a little bit with your watercolour, or what do we call them now? We call them painters, water painters, don't we? Change the name. So I didn't need to do this on the one I did this afternoon. It um, just made a nice like it filled it all in. I don't want to fill it all in. They say to leave a little bit of white, so just leave a little bit of white on the edge. We should have grabbed some baby wipes. I've got some there. So that's that bit done. Yeah, I'm just gonna, what did I do with my chamois? Good old baby wipes to the rescue. Oops, sorry guys. I die. This is my iPad crashing down. You would clean this on your chamois, but mine's gone missing. It's probably in my room still. I'm just going to put that somewhere where I don't accidentally put it on something. Um, just making sure it's rather warm or humid or something still tonight, so I'm actually going to give that another bit of a spray. It looks a bit dry, so this next colour is Daffodil Delight. So I'll ink it up. Make sure you haven't got any on your block. And give it a, it doesn't look like I've inked that up properly either, does it? You can always tell. Give it a little bit of a spritz. I just like messing around sometimes and just playing. And this is what I did. Just kind of, I'm just kind of painting with it. That makes sense. And the next 
colour I used is pumpkin pie. And I'll show you my original one once I'm finished. So I don't think I um, spritzed the stamp when I did the original one. So we'll see which one that we'd like better. So I'm just going to give that a little spritz again. Just kind of doing a bit of a background. Kind of blending the two colours together, but not, not stamping it harshly, so I haven't got any harsh lines. I reckon this one is probably going to be better than the one I did earlier. We might have to use a heat tool and dry it so we can use this one instead. Anyway, let's see, see how we go. We're not done yet. So what do they say? If you um, don't toss away your sample until you're finished because you might end up liking it. So again, just a spritz and this is Poppy Parade. Did I I did. So I've used Daffled Little Light, Pumpkin Pie and this is Poppy Parade. And it will dry a little bit lighter. Probably all thinking, what a mess. It might be too. <laughs> Don't know, but we're finished. And lastly, the Blackberry Bliss. And girls that are doing the online class tomorrow, I'll bring in that sample and I'll show you. The girls have all seen it on, on the PDF that I sent them. It's, um, can I say, similar. The colours are the same, but I have um, used the blending brushes. Not, I've not watercoloured. So Judy's doing the class tomorrow, so she'll know what I mean. I'll just kind of paint that so I can, and you can move it, like I said, you can move it around with your brush, but I think I'd just like to let it dry. Maybe I'll put, maybe I shouldn't put do this, but maybe I'll just put a bit more water and just let it move around a bit and see what that looks like once we've done our other, finished off the other sample. You might like that better. It doesn't really matter for backgrounds like this. Just have fun with it and just play. So I'm going to set that aside and show you the one, <coughs> the one that I did earlier, which was this one. So that's how that's dried. And then to finish off the card, I've just using the Stamparatus in case that they don't stamp. And I couldn't remember if I used stays on or memento, so I'm going to go for the stays on just in case I don't get a good image with the stays on. And I'm changing it a little bit. We always change things when we do them again, don't we? I do anyway. Just make sure that magnet isn't in the road there. just got a variety of sentiments down the side. When I did my first card, which I will show you when we're done with this one, I just had them down the side. Well, you can't really read them. They were just sort of like for a bit of texture, if you will. And that hasn't stamped very well there. Blaze your trail hasn't. No, that's why, because it hasn't Maybe it's where we've got the magnet. Ink's still there, but it hasn't transferred. I'm still not wanting to. Maybe I need to ink it again. It's probably dry. That's getting there. Gee, I'm glad I didn't use Memento. The watercolour paper kind of resists it a bit I think too. It doesn't really want to stamp that does it? 
And that's a bit crooked. Let's celebrate. We're going to cover that up, so you know what? We're not going to worry too much about that. Pop that aside because I'll need to clean that with my <coughs> um, stays on cleaner. Now, where's my bits and pieces? So I'm using the windmill. Whoop. Oh, look what I've done. Oh, well. <laughs> we might have to... Ah, oh, I've done the wording up the wrong the wrong way. It's meant to be a... Ah, oh, gosh, what a deal. What will we do? Will we, will we finish that? Or will we scrap it? Because this is meant to be the ground and this is meant to be the sky. And this one is going to be too wet, I think. And start again because I'm not really liking the way that's looking, that other one. I don't think I should have spritzed it like that at the end. Anyway, you'll get to see it twice. Someone should have told me I was doing that back the front. <laughs> I want to do that tomorrow. Would I? Oh, we're not doing it the same tomorrow, so that's okay. So I'm going to spritz both sides of it. Those that join late, I went to went to do what I was going to do and this is meant to be the sky so I've done it back the front so we're going to start again by wetting our paper <coughs> I'm not going to spritz it at the end this time because I don't think I should have done that I will spritz the blocks though handy if I took that off there wouldn't it and kind of color with your with your stamps, so that I don't press it down too hard. I kind of wanted a bit of a raise there, not too much. So that was cinnamon cider, that's one of the current in colors, one of the ones that's not leaving. And this one's Daffodil Delight. Looks like I might have that a little bit too wet. I'm just going to slightly spritz that so I have to take it away from the camera a little bit as I think I had the brown a little bit too wet yeah, that looks better clean that off I'll show you what my other one's done in a minute too I'll close properly and then we've got pumpkin pie Spritz that on the block. Here we go again. And I think that's enough. So it's moved up there, but that's not going to matter. You want the colours to blend a little bit, just not run too much. Just try and just do that just a little bit, not too much, and just kind of colour with your stamps. I'm not going to fill that in, so it's a little bit wet there. Just going to let that run to the side. Trickle down a little bit. Don't know if I cleaned that or not. I'll clean it again just in case. And lastly, with the Blackberry Bliss. So these colours go a lot lighter once they're dry. Squirted myself and not the, not the stamps then. Hope I didn't give that enough. Of a, of a wetting, of a squirt, whatever you call it. Need a little bit more. And my, oops, my um, spritzers ran out. Now we ran out. Just want that to fill in a little bit more. It's not going to help me. I'm going to have to... What will we do? 
don't want to mess that up too much. Let's see. I just want, don't want too much white there. Let's see if I can get that running. I might be able to fix it with this. Just get rid of too much white there. Just by pouncing that there, hopefully. It's not too bad. All right. Close those up. Now we'll have to grab the heat tool. Because this is the one I just did and I'm not happy with that, how that um, Blackberry Bliss has ran down there. I didn't want it to do that. <clears throat> it's a bit of trial and error. What I did earlier was perfect if I hadn't messed it up. It would be fine. Bottom's not dry. It's going to shift that over there. Just to say, if it's not quite dry, it's not going to, not going to stamp very well. You see how those colours have kind of, kind of blended? Not so dry. our stamper artist back and this time we will put it up the correct orientation so that we've got the sky with the sunset sunsetting sky like a sunset um, that way that's memento I don't want that don't quite know what would happen if you mixed memento and stays on together they might react mightn't they no, that's not in the right. It's not going to hold it, is it? Well, it's going to hold it, but it's going to be in the wrong spot for the writing. Let's see how we go this time with our stamping. I wasn't really wanting to behave last time, was it? Maybe it was trying to tell me something. Trying to tell me that it was upside down. It's just that... Blaze your, blaze your trail one isn't wanting to stamp very well. Maybe that will just add to the look of it. Yeah, that one just doesn't want to, does not want to stamp. No matter what I do, let's see if I can move that. It might be the magnet that's stopping it. Sometimes it is. No, anyway, we might have some things over the top of it that we don't see it anyway. Anyway, at, we'll add to the look of it, I think. Now, where's my card I'm copying off? So we've got our windmill. And I need, I could have used um, multi-purpose glue, but I didn't. Because it's just as easy sometimes. It's really great, the multi-purpose glue, but... I, I am too impatient. I get annoyed with all the little bits that stick in there. Once you've taken it off and you end up with bits stuck all over your fingers and I get cranky. So I just prefer to do this. 
most times. Sometimes you, you really need the adhesive sheets for really thin sentiments. There's no way you could adhere, adhere them if you didn't have the adhesive sheets. Just make sure I've got enough on there because I do want it to stick. I don't want it to come flying off. I don't need much, but we do need enough because it is shimmer paper, so it's kind of a different texture than your normal whites, whisper white, um, basic white, I should say. I haven't actually used up my stash of basic white even yet. Of um, whisper white, did I say basic white? Oh, I meant whisper white. Now, where did I have that one on there? I have that about there. And the chalk shed comes from the dies, the... Did I pop that up? The, um... Hey Chick dies, I forget which ones, but it's one of them. You'll figure it out and have a look. So whether we want, whether we call it a chook shed or a, a barn or whatever. It can be whatever you think it can be. These little ones, I just thought I never, I forget to use the black ones, so I will use them. I don't know whether I've got any big ones oh, sticking to everything with me here, so I'll go for these little ones, which are annoying me too, because they're sticking everywhere. And I didn't get a bin. That one can go there, so that's not, oh, now it's stuck on my thumb. Not having much luck with these sticky things tonight. Now where did I put that? About right there. You want it sitting on the dirt. And I had, I don't know, I haven't checked whether this twine is current, oops, got my stand on it, whether it's current or not, but you know, things come and go, so when you see them, grab them, and it is, we are having a selection of different sorts of twines in the new catalogue, so if you haven't got it, don't despair, you'll be able to get it soon. Just see if I can hold my mouth right, and tie a knot or a bow, it looks better with that in a bow and we'll just fix it up on the other side in a second. Let's find my, my ribbon scissors, my little ones. do when I use twine I usually like to adhere it with my tear and tape so it doesn't move or go anywhere you can also pull it tight I've got mine fairly tight but if you haven't got it tight enough you can pull it tight and adhere it there so that it um, doesn't doesn't come loose when you've made your card. Right, now I'm just using some multi-purpose. Did I put that up the wrong way? It's not coming out. Goodness me, what else can go wrong tonight? I must have stuck it up the other way, did I? Let's try my other one. What's the matter with that one? Just didn't want to come out. I'm not sure 
sort of put it up that way so that it's easier to come out. Doesn't look too bad. Let's give it a press with my bone folder so that it adheres and doesn't go all wavy and crinkly. Let's press it down all the way around. Blackberry Bliss base. Let's make sure I've got that straight. Not the best at putting things on straight, but doesn't look too bad. And I again can't see comments. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Last week, you know how I said I couldn't see when people were commenting? I had to, last week, if I went the other way, I could see. But this, when I go the other way, is the people who joined earlier so it's not oh, I don't know I give up on Facebook they change things around just to do your head in I think um, now our centre bit and our oh, did I grab an envelope I don't believe I did I went off to get it and then I forgot well I'm going to do the same on the envelope as I am on the inside so I'm just going to pop another windmill there and all I'm going to do is I've had Blackberry Bliss on this sponge so I'm just going to sponge it because it's already got colour on it I don't need to add any colour and I will do the same on the envelope when I grab one I love making cards that have got a background. I'll show, we'll show you the one we're doing tomorrow once I've adhered this. Come here. A bit of wet glue again. Oh, don't tell me you're stopped now. I don't want to press it too hard or it comes out in a big blob. And it looks like it wants me to press it hard. And I'm not liking that. This one won't be as hard to adhere. Oh, this glue is not behaving tonight. It's not even cold, it's actually quite warm still. For the middle of, no, almost the middle of April, it's really stayed quite warm, which is great for the school holidays. At lovely weather. Oh. Does need a bit more. It's just not behaving. Needs a good shake or something, I think. I don't want him coming off the page. It'll come out if I give it a good squirt, but it doesn't want to oblige me by doing little tiny bits and we need some bling even though it's probably a guy's card it could be a card for anybody but I'd probably give it to a guy just let you have a look at that one that's the one we're doing tomorrow which was done with the blending brushes and just sponging so I'm looking for some black um, embellishments no, they're here. Which end of the container are you? Should have got them out before, shouldn't I? I think of everything. 
you know what, maybe I'll use, I don't know i use, just to be different on this card, I'm not going to use black, I'm going to use pumpkin pie, seeing we've used pumpkin pie on the card, because you know what, it's not a colour that I use a lot, so when I get a chance to use these that are in the holiday rhinestones, I'm going to go for it. The black probably do look better, I have to admit, but they don't look half bad. So that's that's tomorrow's card. The girl's going to do that with the blending brushes and I'll do that with them virtually. And this is the one that I'd already done that I've cased this one from. As you can see there, I've, um, I think, pardon me, I think the difference was I, I stamped with the stamps and then I used the water painter to move the ink. So it's, it's sort of stayed like a bit of like sort of clouds when I've done that. And it, as you see there, this one, I've just used the I've just used it more as, as if I'm painting with it. So two different looks with um, kind of the same thing. Okay, well that was quick and easy tonight. <laughs> okay, I'll see those of you who are doing the class, I'll see you virtually tomorrow and I'll see the rest of you next week, I hope. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye.